Hi guys, Tracy here. I have a few things to share with you guys. First of all, yesterday my scrapbook.com prize pack arrived and um, I already filmed it but I'm gonna redo it because it just took a really long time. I was taking stuff out of the package to show you guys and it just, I don't wanna edit it. It's just too long. Um, so I'm just gonna show you all of the stuff. It's already out of its packages so that'll save some time. The first thing was um, this, this is the Basil Splat Pack. And I love this and I really, this was the perfect thing. It's like, I said in the other video, it seems like the person who, who created this prize pack knew me and knew what I needed and wanted. Like it's unbelievable. I've never received such a great, great prize. So this is what I have been using. So the, the basil one is bigger. This is like a no name one. And I don't clean it, it is non-stick, it's just I don't bother to clean it, so that's why it's got stuff stuck all over it. Um, this is a no-name one, it's way, way thinner than the basil one, and also I've noticed, it didn't say anywhere on it that it was heat proof, and it isn't, because when I use it on my, um, like to, when I use my heat gun on it, this thing bubbles up underneath, so this one, um, the basil one, actually, it says right on it that it withstands temperatures of up to 500 degrees. So, oops, sorry guys. That'll focus in a second there. So, um, so that's the package that it came in. And I'm just really, really excited to have a good craft mat. And the other really cool thing is it came with a package of these um, Martha Stewart, uh, what are these called? They're like fringe scissors. They like they shred your paper. You can make long shreds or little shreds. And then you can like wrinkle them up and have like a fringe. It's really, really cool. I love these. And it, like, it, I would have never bought these because they're just way too specific. It's not that I, I will definitely use them now that I have them, but I don't think I would have paid money to get them. So I love that I received these as a prize because now I get to make fringes. And there was a project that I wanted to put a fringe on and I thought to myself, oh, I wish I had those scissors. So now I can do, put fringes on stuff. So that's awesome. So it came with these and this. I'm gonna to try to move faster for this video. Um, all my stuff is over in another spot now because I wasn't, I just decided now to refilm this. It came with a package of Lily B Design stickers, and you guys, I was this close to ordering these. I, I think I had them in my cart and I took them out. So I'm just so happy. I think these are the, are they called Buttercup or something? There's no name on them, but I think they're a Buttercup. Anyways, they have the little tiny polka dots. They have a really pretty blue color and a really pretty yellow and then this really nice, it's like a, a warm gray and a very, very pale blue. And then the same neutral, I think these always come with the same neutral ones below and they just change what's on the top. And so I've ordered some of these because these are really, really hard for me to get. I can't get these locally and um, I've never had them before. So I'm just so happy, so, so, so happy to have these because I love them. And I did order, I think two packages of these on a recent um, order that I did somewhere. Can't even remember where I ordered them from. Um, they haven't come yet and I got two different packs than this. So I'm gonna have three of these all together, which is awesome, really great. And then it came with these Bella Boulevard stickers, letter stickers, which I've never seen before. It's a really nice, plain, kind of graphical type of font, which I love these fonts. Love, love, love them. And then it has like a typewriter key type font, and then a smaller, like a lowercase and an uppercase. Kind of these would kind of go together, I would think. And then it also even has a bunch of these little square or rectangular letter stickers too. So a really nice variety. Not a whole lot of any one, um, so I'm not sure that you could get a whole bunch of titles out of each of these things, but it's, it's certainly going to be a nice mix and match set. And then a couple of masks. So this one is um, a 9 by 12 stencil by Delusions, which is something I've never seen before. I guess it's a new Ranger line. And it's got like almost like um, bubble wrap type of 
of a stencil on it and then it's got these really cool flowers and they've got a nice whimsical like hand-drawn type of look to them they're not all uniform and stuff so I love these love 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 them and you could use just the flowers and kind of like mask off this or you could use just the bubble wrap part I like I use th this kind of stuff a lot in my mixed media pieces and then um, this is a Prima mask, which I had never seen before. I didn't even know. I don't even look at Prima stuff when I go to my local scrapbooking store, just because I'm not really into flowers. But I think I should be looking at Prima stuff because this is really nice. This uh, mask is really pretty. And this is what it looks like when it's masked. Um, so it's really, really pretty. So those are really cool. And then... What else am I going to show? And then it came with, these are, hang on, let me find all this stuff here. These are Glitz Designs Giant Rhinestones. So I took them out of the package here. Um, but I've got some, I got some of these giant rhinestones in a star, in a scarlet lime kit a while ago, and they were just plain colors, and they were really, really hard to use just because it was just hard to put like a big blingy pink thing on the middle of a, of a layout anywhere. But these are much more usable because they have patterns and images underneath the rhinestone. And so it doesn't look as like in your face blingy as the other ones that Glitz makes. So I am really excited to use these on something. And then these basil pretty buttons are gorgeous. They remind me of the... Um, crystal the glass doorknobs the old-fashioned glass doorknobs they're just so pretty I just want oh, I love them very very nice and I love the, the subtle colors and the fact that they're clear I love that so those are going to be really fun to use and then some of these Heidi Swap um, bows and they're just kind of they're on dimensional adhesive and they're just paper but they'll make a nice embellishment. I really like the chevron and the animal print ones. I love the colors. I love the colors of the Heidi Swap stuff, but um, I haven't bought any of it because I really can't afford to spend that much money on stuff. Um, I find them really overpriced. I know a lot of people have been saying that and I have to agree, but it's really nice. So it's a nice thing to have in a prize package. Like I said, it seems like they picked this stuff for me. And these arrows, also by Heidi Swap, are amazing. I love these. Look at them. They're so pretty. I will have so much fun with these. So much fun. Love them. And a package of these. Where did the thing go for these? These are by Pebbles, and they're called Crystal Candy Dots. And I was trying to compare them to the Twinkle Goosebumps because I've seen them online and they look like the same thing. They're not exactly the same thing. They have a really similar finish to them, but these ones are quite a bit more dimensional. So the, the pebbles, they're called Crystal Candy Dots. Look at how much dimension they have. They're really quite dimensional as compared to like these ones. Let me see if I can get a side shot here that's going to focus. Yeah, so these are relatively flat and these ones really stand up off your layout a lot. So they're not the same. When you look at them online, they look almost the same. But different, I would use them in different ways. Certainly couldn't, I wouldn't put these on Project Life because they'd cut the page protector, but I have used these on Project Life. So that's that. And then Oh, I was so excited when I saw this. A package of this Disney themed washi paper, washi tape. Can you guys, like, I can't even, I'm, I swear, whoever picked out this prize package had me in mind. Like, I don't, I don't know how this happened. But you guys know I've been doing so much Disney stuff lately. Um, and I still have more Disney stuff to go. So these are perfect for me. Look at them. They're so awesome. I'm going to I'm going to take them up so you can see each pattern. But wouldn't these have gone awesome on this layout? I almost feel like I should go back and figure out a way to incorporate at least that um, chevron washi into this layout because they are perfect for each other. Um, so I'm just going to show you what the washi looks like. So there's this one that has Mickey's and Minnie's um, 
piece articles of clothing, which I always think is funny. I always think, where are Mickey and Minnie? And <laughs> what are they doing without their clothes? <laughs> it's got their shorts and <laughs> I know I've got a dirty mind. We have some wine glasses or some some of those wine charms at Christmas time and one of them has all Santa's clothes and it's really funny to be drinking your glass of wine and have Santa's pants hanging off your wine glass. <laughs> um, anyways, maybe it had to be there, I don't know. <laughs> just have a funny memory of that. Um, and then this is the chevron. Really pretty. Love those Disney colors. I'm pretty sure that this is made by Queen and Company because this is another thing that I've looked at and almost bought before. And I'm pretty sure that Queen and Company makes this. And they make this bu bubble washi tape in all different color schemes. So this is the Disney one, which I almost bought one time. Um, glad I didn't now because I don't think I could use two whole rolls of them. Um, they make this bubble tape in different color schemes, like one for girls, like all pinks and stuff, and one for boys. And and then just a plain red polka dot, which I don't, I don't have a plain red polka dot. I have a black polka dot, and it's almost the same as that. And then this is, I don't know, would you call this an argyle? It's not rectangular, like a, it's not like, it's more square than an argyle, but I guess it's a square argyle. It's really pretty. And then this is a black and white stripe, which I do already have a black and white stripe. So, not bad. Only one repeat. So there's that. There's still more stuff, you guys. It was a $75 prize pack. So um, there's lots and lots of stuff here. There's these black flowers, which I think I could use on my Halloween yearly mini album. I have a mini album that's like, it's a paper bag mini album, but it's only partially finished. So every year I do another page on it and, and put Halloween pictures inside. And so this would be perfect for that. I'm not a big flower person, but these I will use. And then another one of these, I'm gonna try to use this one. I like the color of it. And uh, I seem destined to, uh, have these things, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out how to use it. Um, and then some of these distress markers, which I've been purposely avoiding. I haven't watched anything about these. I haven't watched any YouTube videos or visited any blogs. I've been staying away from them because I saw that they were out and I just thought, I don't really need another product that I need to have, but now here I am. I have three of them. So um, really nice colors, like a black and a brown and a pink. I have no idea what makes these different than other markers. I'm guessing you can distress them, like maybe spray water on them and they'll get all old and old looking. I have no idea. So I'm gonna look these up and if you guys have any tips on things to do with these distress markers, let me know and I would be happy to try out new things. Um, these are some mistables by Pink Paisley and they're just tags and if, if I hold them in the light the right way you'll see that they've got some embossed, some clear embossed areas and so you mist them and then that resists the mist and it looks cool. So um, I'm looking forward to using these. They're really, there's two sheets of them in here and uh, yeah so these would be fun for you know tags and stuff on projects and I even I always keep this kind of stuff so I'll even use this backing paper for sure from Pink Paisley so there's those and then there is a big thing of um, black and white twine and this is from We Are Memory Keepers and there's 45 meters 50 yards in this so that's that I just ordered I think three things of twine. I don't have much twine. I only have like little bits of twine that I got from other places. So I, I ordered some twinery twine last weekend. It hasn't arrived yet. And I know I had the black one in my shopping cart. I'm pretty sure I took it out to get something else instead. So um, I hope I don't end up with doubles of black twine. But if I do, that's life. I can live with it. Um, what else have we got here? Perfect Pearls. Um, Perfect Pearls Mist in Pearl, which, um, yeah, which I don't have, so I'll, I know, I've, um, I used to watch a lot of videos that use these, so I think I have some ideas of what to do with it. And then this is an ink spray called Vibrant Turquoise, and that's by Delusions. It's the same line of this, um, Crafters Workshop template, so, um, so yeah, I'll have fun with this. This looks like a really cool color, so I can't wait to use that. 
in some mixed media stuff and I might use it in scrapbooking too so I'll put those there um, and then a, pack, a little tube of, of stickles it's the black diamond and black diamond is the black stickles that have like little random um, colored uh, glitter in it so that's I don't think I have black diamond stickles I might and then it came with these scrapbook adhesives, which is always good to have adhesive. And then these basically bare um, chipboard pieces, which are great. I'm going to make a, um, a mini album for my husband. He's been doing a lot of um, local photography of like our city and landmarks and stuff. He was actually featured in the Nova Scotia Tourism website and also the website of a hotel. And it was really awesome because the person who posted it um, asked all of their readers to like look at the picture and say what it makes them think of and hundreds of people from all over the world replied and like said you know oh this picture really reminds me of home it's making me homesick great memories of my kids growing up and blah blah, blah. it was just like it was just so nice to see that his picture had like an impact on people so I've been really wanting to make a mini album and these will be great because it's going to be a photography themed mini album for my hubby so those will come in handy for that. I swear, it's like somebody knew me. I, I know I said that over and over again, but I can't even get over it. It's uncanny. So this is kind of the star of the show. It's a 7x9 art journal by Prima. That's the packaging that it came in. And it is, it just blows me away. This is so awesome, and I'm a little intimidated by it, and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. Um, but it's really, really pretty. It has, it's like a canvas um, a canvas covered chipboard art journal and it's it's kind of like a smash book but it is it has three it has the rings instead of being spiral bound it comes with this uh, sheet of stickers that are kind of all about like the months it's sort of like a di like a diary theme to it with tabs and stuff that you can use. And then it also comes with a set of pop dots. And there's a, um, there's like a pocket on the front, inside front cover. And then there's all these calendar pages, like tons of calendar pages. And then eventually it turns to like just random pages. So I'll just flip through and, and let you see quite quickly the kinds of pages that there are. It's really nice. I've never seen this before, so this is just, like, it blows me away. I didn't even know they made stuff like this. So, um, and then there's four of these, like, pocket pages. They're just green with pocket on each side. And then there's some of these, um, like, double 4 by 6 picture pages that you could put in between those other pages. And then there's some um, full-size um page protectors and then some of these kind of different shaped ones so it almost has like a project lifey type of feel to it like if you if you were to disperse these all through you could kind of you know add your pictures and journaling cards and stuff and then there's a zip pocket at the back that has a um, set of a set of die cut tags that are really hard to take out so I'm just gonna leave them in there and I'll show you and then the very last page has a little pocket so that is my project, my um, scrapbook.com prize pack. I'm going to clean all this stuff up because I have a few more things to show you. So I also have a Crafty Steels haul here, and I don't know if this steel is still available, but I got the basic gray um, take note, I think that might be what it was called, um, steel. And I got the stamps that go with it, and it's all sort of documentation, tag, journaling type of stuff. And so I thought it would be really great for Project Life. And like, I really like this one and this one, and actually, I really like all of them. That's just like a plain journaling stamp there, and a stamp where you can like circle the day. Sorry for the glare. And then a bunch of numbers, like, that's all, they're not all individual, it's just like a strip of numbers. So I'm really looking forward to using this in my um, project life. And then I got two sets of, um, how did there end up being three of those? Oh, I think this goes with that set. Yeah, so I got two sets of the brown and one set of the white. So I'm just gonna kind of 
order it for you guys so you know what was included in what. Right. So there's two sets of the browns. So this is what the set came with. It came with, um, and there's, I only have, two, it didn't come with two. I bought two for two of it. Um, so it comes with these glazed brads, which are really cute. I love the ones that have a bit of a, I love the border ones, the ones with a, with a bit of a metal edge on them. Really pretty. Um, and it came with a set of clips. Again, it came with one. I just bought two of them. So I really like these. I have this other set of clips from a Scarlet Lime kit and I love them. So when I saw that they were in it, I thought that was great. And then a set of these writer's block and I have these from the Origins collection and I use them a lot. And there's a whole bunch in each one. I'm just gonna open it up and show you guys. There's a whole bunch of each thing in each one. If I can get it out, hang on. I'm gonna rip the packaging here. So. So yeah, they don't stick to the back very well, but like who, what, when, why. And then there's like a whole bunch of those. And there's more than one kind in there by the look of it. And they're sort of like, um, they're post-it notes. You have to use extra adhesive though because they're not very great post-it notes. And then this one is number and there's a whole bunch of them. And then these are some little name tab cards and there's a whole bunch of them as well. There's a whole bunch of everything. Some other cards and then these little, these are little tear off things. It's like a notepad that you can tear them off. And so, um, so that's what they look like. And then these take note journaling cards with transparencies. Um, I might need to open these up to show them to you guys just cause it doesn't, I don't think the package does a great job. Sorry, my video is going to be hugely long guys. But, okay, so, because I haven't seen these before, so, oh, cool. So it has the paper, and then it has this that can layer over it. That's very cool. I don't know how to best use that, like to take advantage of the layering, or if you even would. But anyways, it's, it's still, it's very cool. Um, and then, what's this one? The big one is like that, and then this is the overlay for it. So if you were doing a mini album, that would be like a really cool extra page to put in there. And then there's this with this that you could add. I suppose you could color, cover up those numbers if you didn't want them, or you could have the numbers show. So that's kind of cool. And one more thing. Oh, cool. So it's got this or this. So those are really cool. Those are called the take note. And as, a, as you see, I, I got two of them. Um, and uh, then these, these are just like the chip for the cardstock uh, journaling tabs, label stickers. And I really like them. So I thought with all the craft in this that I would use these more. So I bought two of them. Um, not that I need two of all of these things, but so I, some of this stuff might find its way into a giveaway pack or something. Um, but anyways, I definitely wanted to have two of some of these things. So, and then here's the white kit. I'm not going to open it all up and show you every single thing because it's almost the same. So a package of the, of the label stickers and then some of these take note and they're going to be really similar, but just different designs. And then a package of these uh, writer's block, which have lots in them, so I love that. And these are the clips, and then these are the brads for that. I really love that brad right there, especially. My nails are a mess right now, I have to redo my, my nails. I recently started repainting my nails, I wasn't... I went a long time without doing my nails. I used to do them a lot. And then I just realized, oh my goodness, it's been a long time. So I pulled up my nail polish stuff and I'm having fun using it again. One last thing to share with you guys, because I know you guys like all my tech gadgets and everything. I always get lots of feedback on that. I bought an Olo clip for my iPhone. I'm just going to show you how it works. I do have to take off my um, cell phone case in order to... Um, 
put it on and my cell phone case is actually broken so it doesn't it doesn't come off all that great so so yeah so you have to use a naked cell phone with it or a naked iPhone and so what it is is the main reason that I got it was for the fisheye function so I'm just gonna put it in camera mode here and you just slide it over your I also have an Invisa shield on, so I don't want to knock off my Invisa shield. So I put it on fairly carefully, and then you take off the lens cap, and everything is in a fisheye. So there, you can see my whole scrap room, or my whole like you can see 180 degrees from my camera. So that's actually kind of cool, isn't it? I'm gonna take a picture of that. That's cool. Um, so yeah, I've been taking a whole bunch of fisheye photos that I will, that will likely make their way onto scrapbooking layouts of mine. So the fisheye is really fun, um, but it also has a, um, wide angle lens that's not fisheye. And so you just take it off and you flip it on the other way. And then you have a, whoops, I have to go back to camera. And then you have a wide angle lens. So it's not fisheye, but it's just wide angle. Um, and so that's really good to have, especially if you're at a restaurant and, you know, like everybody's trying to squeeze in and, and not everybody can fit into the frame, so you can fit more into a frame with that. And then the third feature, because this is a three-in-one, is you can actually screw this right off. And then it has a macro lens. So then you can take super duper duper close-ups. I was taking some pictures of some flowers, and I don't know if you guys can see that because you're way up there, but let's see. Oops. See how close, and look, my phone is like literally right beside that, and it's, if I were to leave it still, I keep moving it because my hands are shaky, but if I were to leave it still, it would focus with like that much space in between it. It's awesome, so you can get really extreme close-ups for things. Um, so really I bought it for the fisheye, but I'll probably use it for the other two features as well. And it comes in this really cute little, um, little, um, drawstring bag. And so I just stick it in my purse and I, and I have it with me so that if I need to use it, it's there. Cause a lot of times, you know, we buy these things and then they're bulky and big and they're hard to store and stuff. But this, because it's easy, you can just stick it right in your purse and not worry about it getting ruined or scratched or anything. Um, so I'm loving this. It's called the Olo clip. It's probably more expensive than it needs to be. <laughs> it was a bit of a splurge. Um, I think it was like, $70 or something. I know that's a lot. Um, but I think I will get a lot of use out of it. And I also got a discount on it because my husband's a photographer. So um, he gets some stuff for, he gets a discount on some stuff at the camera shop. So um, check out the Olo clip if you've got 70 bucks to spare. Um, I'm sure that in the, uh, in, in the States it's probably quite a bit cheaper, so you guys can probably get it for, for cheaper than I got it. But um, anyways, thanks for watching, you guys.